Hi, everybody. I'm Commissioner Ken Hodder, National Commander for the Salvation Army. And I have the great privilege today of being with New York Times best-selling author, Chief Spiritual Officer for Women's Day, and Salvation Army Christmas Ambassador, Candace Cameron Bure. Candace, it, Candace, it's great to speak with you today. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you so much. Candace, I want you to know how much we appreciate you at the Salvation Army, not only because you serve as our ambassador to the American public, but that you bring to the Salvation Army's work an extra dimension. You are well aware of the fact that the Salvation Army's mission statement is to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in his name without discrimination. So when we start talking about what motivates the Salvation Army, the faith that, that prompts us to do what we do, I have to ask you the question, what is your faith? What is your uh, understanding of how God is moving in your life, uh, particularly at this Christmas season? Wow, I love getting to talk about this. So thank you for asking. My Christian faith, my faith in Jesus Christ is the foundation of who I am. Um, I, I have known, I've known God since I was 12 years old, but I really came to faith in my early 20s when I understood the gospel message that Jesus Christ lived a perfect life and came here to earth to save all sinners. Um, to, to die for all of us so that we could be in heaven for eternity. And Jesus, of course, did that. He died on the cross and he rose again and sits at the right-hand throne of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for what he's done in my life and in my families, and not, not for the things that I have, but for the spiritual awakening that he has given me. He's just opened my eyes to my need for a savior. And so it is the message that I carry about with me every day of my life, whether that's at home or that's at work. My faith never leaves me. And it's my mission to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with, with everyone in the world because that's what the Bible tells us to do, to go out and share the good news. So I could not be more proud and supportive of the Salvation Army because that is your mission as well. And it's so important to me as a wife, as a mother, as, a, as an, an entrepreneur, as an actress, as an author, of all the things that I do that my faith always goes forward before all of that. And I want people to know who I am in Christ. And um, so it thrills me to partner with an organization that holds the same mission. What a terrific testimony that is. Uh, people are so familiar with you. Uh, they've seen uh, your movies. They, they, they've read uh, your writings. To hear you talk so directly and so plainly about your faith in Jesus Christ is a source of great encouragement. And indeed, it's something that I think America needs right now because we at the Salvation Army, as you well know, are finding that not only do people need food and not only do they need rent assistance or utility assistance, they don't just need toys for their children under the Christmas tree. But right now in the middle of this pandemic, uh, they need hope and they need encouragement. They need a gospel, don't they? Yes, we all do. And despite all of our circumstances, no matter what they are, if, if you are struggling through the worst of times, particularly during this pandemic, or if you're someone that is grateful to be working right now and things don't feel as different for you, no matter where you are at in life, we all need a savior. And that's who Jesus Christ is. And um, it's, he gives not only so much hope, but the word of God in the Bible um, gives us just, gives us a blueprint for life, gives us hope and mercy and grace. And it's filled with such encouragement and also 
protection. I think that's so important for us this time of year. And I know when I get anxious or nervous, I start to worry, I can always open up the Bible, which I try to do every single morning because Amen. it fills yeah. my soul with God's truth and not my own worry and not the things that I think might be right or wrong. I need to know what God says about it. And it, his word never fails. Candace, uh, you are a strong woman of faith. Uh, and as you know, during this uh, Christmas season, people will be looking into God's word for words of encouragement and hope. What would be the scripture verse that means the most to you uh, during these uh, times of the year, or indeed during this pandemic? Yes, well, I, I would love to share one with you. It's in Philippians 4, uh, verses 6 through 6 and 7. And it says, don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Mm a powerful verse. If we turn it over to him, if we simply share with him the deepest needs and desires of our heart, a peace will come over it because he's in charge of it all, isn't he? Yes, absolutely. It gives me such comfort to listen to that verse. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Knowing I can just give it to him. Well, in the middle of this pandemic, uh, lots of people have been isolated. They've been alone. They've been separated from their families. Uh, what would you say to them about the power of the gospel right now? We all know what it, we all know what it feels like to worry and feel anxious. And those feelings can feel so overwhelming at times. And um, like I said before, it's the word of God that gives me peace. He gives a peace that surpasses all understanding. It's a peace that I can never muster up myself because it's the peace of God. And the gospel message itself um, saves us. Yes. Jesus saves. Yes. And so there are so many things that will will be wrong in the world and will continue to be wrong and and things that we will always wonder about you know why does this happen and that happen but i trust that god knows all of those answers mm -hmm. and i i can find comfort in his word but knowing that because of the gospel message that jesus died for you and for me that we can ask God, all those questions in eternity. Absolutely, absolutely. Candace, I want to thank you again, uh, not only as an ambassador for the Salvation Army in support of the work that is so important to so many people right now, uh, but as a sister in Christ. I want to thank you for the opportunity to work with you uh, and to continue to lift up the name of Jesus Christ in word and in deed. And uh, our prayer here from the Salvation Army is that you and yours will not only have a safe holiday season, but that you'll have a blessed and holy Christmas as well. Before we go today, can I just have a little word of prayer with you? Oh, I would love that. Yes, thank you. Oh, certainly. Loving Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak with Candace today. And we want to pray right now, Lord, that you will use the words that we've shared that you will use the smiles on our faces, that you'll use the opportunity that this season provides for us to proclaim Christ, for us to offer to the world that wonderful message of Christmas, that they might hear it and see it and Lord accept it. I pray your blessing upon Candace and upon her family. I pray that you'll watch over them and keep them. I pray that you'll give Candace wisdom in all that she does. Father, give her a spirit of discernment as to the work that she does and the work that she decides not to do. Help her, Father, to continue to be 
the instrument of your will. We seek, Father, to serve you first and foremost in our lives. So continue to remind us of your blessings. Continue to give us the presence of your Holy Spirit as we go through our daily lives. And Father, continue to make us uh, voices that will bring others to the foot of the cross. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day and a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. God bless you too. And have a wonderful Christmas.